Hi, Mr. Riders. Oh, here we are. So first I wanted to make an announcement. Um, this is our last live presentation until January of the next year. Can you believe it? We're at the end of the year already. Um, I made a decision to uh, take some things out of my life that were keeping me from focusing on writing my mystery. <laughs> so I think you will all understand. Um, our group is still live. We can still ask questions in the group. But um, uh, this is my last live presentation until January. So I want to, I just want to let you know and wish you all happy holidays. All right. So today I wanted to talk about, whoa, plot versus character, the big standoff. But it isn't really a standoff so if you think about it. But we need to work on both plot and character. Um, because every story falls somewhere on that continuum uh, between plot and character and traditional mysteries fall well, right in the middle. We need both. It's not totally plot driven like um, like a thriller and it's not character driven like um, a literary novel perhaps. So we're right in the middle. Um, so we need plot and character to write a rich, engaging mystery. All right. So a mystery needs plot to lead the reader through the puzzle of solving the mystery. That's why they're there. They want to solve that mystery, right? And this story structure demands that you, the author, plant clues and keep the villain hidden until the end, right? And you want twists and conflicts to build suspense. All oh, these are plotting things that you want to build into your novel. But on the other hand, a mystery needs that search guide, that guide, and that is your detective. Because your detective guides your reader through the puzzle, sometimes misguiding, right? <laughs> but the character is how your reader connects with your story. Readers want to follow an empathic character through that story journal. So first let's look at plot. So why plot a mystery? Well, first of all, you're going to speed up your writing and save rewrite time by fleshing out the plot and story outline before you write. And you'll know which clues and suspects your sleuth needs to find and interview and how each suspect creates the conflict that creates the twist and makes your sleuth rethink the problem and develop twists to keep your reader in suspense. So first of all, we have external conflict, and that's the bone of it, it's the um, it, it's it's the conflict that drives your mystery sleuth. People lie, they misdirect, they create obstacles that keep your sleuth from discovering the truth, and creating a storyline with obstacles of external conflict helps to drive the story and keeps readers wondering, wondering, you know, now what's that sleuth going to do, right? So the other thing that, that about plotting is you want to outline plot points to meet your mystery readers' expectations. Mystery readers have expectations, and we've talked about that a lot here, because you want to create a tight and well-developed story. And as you begin writing, you'll have a detailed understanding of where that story is going. So you can go from one plot point to the next plot point 
to the next plot point and keep your readers on board with your story. All right. On the other hand, you want to subvert reader expectations with those plot twists. They think they know where the story is going. They think they understand oh, what your sleuth is going to do next. And boom, there is a twist. So you want to think about ways to surprise your readers by taking the story in a new direction. So planning the major twists in your story sustains that reader interest and curiosity about how that mystery is finally going to be solved and the villain revealed. So plotting beforehand helps you as a mystery writer settle on which clues you're going to use. It creates smoke screens with suspects and hide the villain until the end. And you'll find plot holes before you start writing and save yourself hours of rewriting because the story got out of control. It's one of the great things about at least having your major plot points defined for yourself. So knowing the basic storyline helps you write each scene better because you know where that scene is heading. You know what's coming later on in this story. Um, and mystery readers do love a well-planned plot. Then let's look at the other side. Let's look at characters. Um, emotion connects readers with your story. And while plot drives the storyline, your characters create the emotional connection that keeps your reader reading. Uh, while your character may be tall or short, red-haired or brunette, and their emotional makeup gets the reader involved. And without character strengths and weaknesses, your story won't engage. So you need to create that three-dimensional character that gets your reader involved in, with the character and wants to follow them on that puzzle-solving journey. So characters give your reader a reason to care, all right? So rich characters have backstory. They don't arrive in your story as a blank slate. And the life they live before the story begins influences how they act and how they perceive the world. And they arrive in your story with old wounds and with old triumphs and with a family and friends and enemies and biases and personality traits. So character development with backstories makes your characters more compelling because they have this rich life that they bring to the story. And we've talked a lot about not dumping that backstory right at the beginning, but you want to know that backstory because you can bring it up whenever you need to as it influences your character's actions in the story. And then inner conflict shows your reader it's not all smooth sailing for your character. You want that character has has trouble. <laughs> all those conflicts and obstacles and the inner doubts and all of those things, those are the things that engage your reader. So while the mystery puzzle focuses on the outer conflict, the plot as it were, your readers engage with your character through their personal struggles. So your character's point of view shows readers your character's opinions, what makes your character tick, and how they see the world. And as your reader follows your sleuth, they respond to your character's view of the world. Now, once again, I said this often, but once again, your character's view of the world doesn't have to be the same as your reader's view of the world. Your reader just needs to know what it is. 
and if you're writing a series, your protagonist sleuth and those surrounding supporting characters, they need strong character development. You really need to work on who they are. And as your series continues, you'll find yourself adding more details. So story development creates a strong mystery. Plot and character development are essential to creating a good mystery. And the time you spend working on conflicts and twists keeps your story from being flat. And creating complex, opinionated characters heightens your reader's engagement in the story. They actually care about what happens with your characters. And then one final note, it may seem like planning and development and character development slow you down. You're not excited about writing your story, right? But once you have your storyline and your character details in mind, you'll actually find your writing goes faster. Um, so it's like dig deep, do that work, and you're going to have more, you're actually going to have more fun writing, writing your story because you have an idea of who that character is and you also have an idea of where you're going in solving the mystery. So you get to as you go along solving that mystery for your readers, you get to play with who that character is, what they think, how they feel, how they interpret the world, and make them really come alive on the page for your readers. Okay, that was it for today. Plot and character that are both important for mysteries, and so you need to work on both of them. And once again, just a heads up, I'm going to be focusing on writing my mystery for the next few weeks. So we aren't going to have any live sessions. Our group is live. Nothing's happening with group. It's not going away. So we're certainly able to interact in the group. It's just that for the month of December, there will not be um, live sessions of the Mystery Writers Studio. All right, have a wonderful holiday time and keep writing.